Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and bless you guys with a podcast, okay? I'm getting ready to pack up and leave. I'm going to New Orleans in a few days. So I've just been really busy traveling, but I'm still trying to keep the content flowing, okay? So please be patient with me. So anyways, you guys have been blowing me up, wanting me to talk about this whole blue face situation. And you know me, honey, I don't rush to, you know, put out videos. That's not my cup of damn tea, okay? I wait to see both sides, gather all facts, and then give you guys a full damn breakdown. That's what us tea sippers do here, okay? We don't care about being first, bitch. We care about being right, okay? So anyways, what's going down is this. If you guys don't know, Blueface, a.k.a. Mr. Bust Down Tatiana, bust down. Bust down Tatiana, bust down Tatiana. I wanna see you bust. Now let me go ahead and say this first, okay? Blueface, you know, he made a bop. Okay, he made a hit with his song, Tatiana. Cardi B ended up jumping on the remix. He also did, I think, a remix with YG. But um, I'm not a fan of his. Um, I'm not into his music like that. Um, he doesn't rap on beat. And that just bothers me, okay? He just he doesn't rap on beat. He sounds like he's kind of mumbling, singing. I don't know. I'm just not into his music. So before y'all come at me like, oh, you're just a fan of Blueface. That's not it, okay? I'm about to be very fair and unbiased. A lot of y'all were getting y'all's feelings, and y'all already know I don't give a fuck in my damn smoky voice, okay? I don't give a fuck. So this is what's going down. This video went viral the other day. We see Blueface, we see his sister, we see his mother, and basically they're getting into it with him, they're going live, and so the narrative that's being spun is that Blueface has two girlfriends, and that the girlfriends didn't speak to the mother or the sister, and that they were offended by that, and Blueface chose his two girlfriends over the woman that birthed them, and over his birth sister, okay? So that's what was being spun, I want you guys to go ahead and watch this viral video, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Johnny's come down here. This is how y'all, this is what y'all paying for. This is what y'all paying for right here, blue face. Y'all paying for this. This is this who y'all supporting. This is who y'all supporting. Joe, come down here, Johnny. This is what blue face bleed him does for his two new bitches. That's what he did. He mad because we don't know. We still gonna pray for him. <clears throat> Blueface bleed him just threw his mother outside. We still gonna pray for you, John. He threw his mother outside. I got these. You let's see. There you go, right there. 
He threw his mommy outside. He throwing us out because we don't like his new bitch, Andrea. Because she don't know how to say hello. So when I see her, she's going to get her ass beat. John, we don't want your bumped out dick, baby. We don't want your bumped out dick. So when you wake up and your dick is bumped out, let me know. So this is my mom. He just threw my mom outside. Johnny, don't put me on camera. This is what y'all can see. He didn't move. He's still in the same house. This is the same house. <laughs> this is for Andrea, because Jaden Jaden would never. Jaden would never. Jaden would never. Jaden got a little more class. <laughs> Did you get all my stuff out of the room? We came here to visit. We came here to visit. <laughs> And he threw us out because we don't like Andrea. <laughs> I tried to welcome the bitch. I seen, I tried. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So after it went viral, of course, folks were dragging Blueface, okay? They were really upset. They're like, you're doing too much. That's messed up. How dare you treat your, you know, mother like that? She's a queen. You know what I'm saying? How dare you treat your sister like that? She's a black princess. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, Blueface. So people were dragging him. So Blueface took to his social media account, and this is what he posted. He says, my mom let me live in my car. I got my own shit now when it's time to go it's time to go then he goes on to say sister trying to get a whole modeling career going off this and y'all really buying this and then he says i bet don't none of y'all's mamas know how to go live on ig dead homies so that's what he had posted and of course the story is getting bigger and bigger folks were dragging him but then folks were also giving his mother and the sister the side eye as well so his mother ended up going to social media, and this is what the mother posted. She says, these are my children, and I bought them into this world, and I'll take them out. You will respect me, rich or poor. I sacrificed my life for them to be who they are, and they better not ever forget it. My son has never disrespected me or any adult as long as he's been on this earth. There's not a teacher, coach, principal, family member, or anyone else who will testify that he has ever. The person I exposed was Mr. Blueface. That was not my son, and I made sure he knew it. Whoever is creating this person was put on notice that I'll put the whole situation on blast to protect my son. My children know that I would die for them without blinking and I needed whomever is testing him or me to know it. I deeply regret pushing Blueface to anger, but I refuse to allow him to destroy my son, Jonathan. That was not about money or me trying to control his house because if I see the devil coming, you can best believe I'm going to be right behind her. To all those who have prayed for us collectively, I felt your prayers and it did give me strength and courage. Please continue to pray for my baby because at the end of the day, that's who he is and will always be. All right, so this is my issue with this whole situation, okay? First and foremost, this situation was ratchet as fuck. And the fact that the mother and the sister decided to go live and show this to the world, I wasn't feeling that. I saw three people who were definitely in the wrong in that situation. First of all, why the fuck is the sister who's a grown-ass woman jumping on the couch like she's four? She's running around cursing. I, you know, she's going off. She's acting a fool. So, of course, he wants her to leave. And then the mother is going live and she's getting upset. The sister ends up pulling out a knife and she's threatening to stab him. I mean, this entire situation is crazy. Not only is the sister recording certain parts when the mother and Blueface are getting into it, then she hands the mother the phone and the mother starts recording certain parts when the sister and Blueface are getting into it. So the whole situation just looks crazy as hell. I saw not one but two disrespectful ass children, okay? Blueface was being disrespectful. The sister was being hella disrespectful. So for the mother to only address one child, she's saying she has three. But two of the three children were involved in an altercation that made them both look unbecoming. The fact that the sister was talking about his dick and, you know, your bumpy dick. And why are you talking about your brother's private parts? Like, that was just that, that was just a bit much. So when I see her, she's going to get her ass beat. John, we don't want your bumped out dick, baby. We don't want your bumped out dick. You know, there's certain ways, even with me being an adult, 
I'm not going to talk in front of my mother crazy. Me and my siblings have never argued or gotten into it or gotten into anything heated in front of my mother as grown up. Maybe when we're like, you know, five, six, seven, eight, you know, as children, yes. But once you get to a certain age, you're going to stop acting a fool in front of your parents. As soon as your parents walk in, you tighten up if you respect your parents. So I saw two disrespectful ass children who really didn't, you know, who, who really didn't care that the mom was there or not. So I don't know why she's only addressing Blueface and only calling out Jonathan. What about your daughter? Because her behavior was definitely unbecoming. Now... With that being said, Blueface did decide to speak out again today, and he's also posting more video of the situation. And that's what I want to wait. I want to also hear his side. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. This is what Blueface is saying. It says, since they want to go viral so bad, this is the real story. My mom got tired of my broke-ass sister freeloading at her house, so she bought her to mine, and I wasn't going for it. I already got her an apartment. Guess that wasn't enough. She want my car, she want me to buy her a car off the lot, and some stuff. I was homeless in my car for years. Ain't nobody want to let me stay at their house. I had to thug it out. But I see my fans ain't real fans. Y'all turn like corners. Fuck all you fake ass fans. That's why I'm in it just for the money. So then, then he proceeded to post this video. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Right, so you guys just saw those disturbing videos and that's why I don't never go off of the first narrative spun because there's clearly more to the story. You guys clearly saw in the video where the sister goes into the kitchen, she gets a knife, she runs upstairs to go attack him. I don't give a damn what the situation is if it's two, you know, fucking bitches. That's what he calls them, not me. My two favorite bitches. <laughs> oh, you don't have to say it like yeah, that. Dad. Um, chose not to speak. Yes, that's disrespectful. But does that warrant you going into the kitchen, grabbing a weapon, and then attempting to kill your brother? I mean, that's not okay. Nobody in this situation to me is innocent. Nobody, baby. I think they all played a part in this. And I think it's really sad how everything is playing out on social media. This just goes to show you how much fame and money can change people. And sometimes it's not the people who are receiving the fame and money where it changes. It's those around them, okay? What I see is a bunch of toxicity. I see a toxic mother who's allowing her kids to just behave any type of way, talk any type of way. She's, you know, she's going off on Blueface and calling him out, but she's not calling out her daughter for her daughter's behavior. Her daughter's behavior is just as bad and just as ratchet. Her daughter was also sitting there, you know, breaking his windows and throwing rocks. But then when he came outside, ready to bust her car windows, now it's all of a sudden we gotta go. Go, go, go. You gonna throw a rock at my car? No. Oh, got his ass! Got his dumb ass! 
Now, initially they came, they were just coming there to visit. My thing is when I go to visit somebody, unless I have permission to, you know, spend the night, I don't bring a bunch of bags. And that wasn't just like a random overnight bag. It clearly looks like the sister bought her entire life to his house. So I think the truth lies somewhere in between. Blueface is saying that the mom wanted to drop off the sister because she's tired of the sister freeloading. And we do see them with a lot of bags, okay? So this is his mother's stuff getting thrown out right here. This is how y'all, this is what y'all paying for. This is what y'all paying for right here, blue face. Y'all paying for this. This is what he did. He mad because we don't know. So did either one of them let Blueface know that they were coming? You know what I'm saying? Just because the mother drops the sister off or wants to drop the sister off does not mean that he wants her there. You know, and the fact that they just show up, you know, with all these bags and then he's putting her out, there might be some truth to his story. Now, I also feel like as a mother, you know what I'm saying, I understand her frustration, but I feel like, you know, they all allow things to get way out of pocket. Blueface is also saying that the mother wasn't there for him and that he lived in his car when he was homeless. Nobody allowed him to stay with him. I think that's kind of fabricated as well because from what I've researched, Blueface um, had a ride to go to college to play football. Um, he's a really good athlete and the mother was there to support him throughout all that. He decided to drop out of college and pursue his dreams as a rapper. Um, she even paid for his studio time. So there are things that the mother did for Blueface just as much as Blueface has done for his mother, you know, to repay her back. There's a video going around of Blueface where he gave his mother $10,000. <laughs> How much you got? I don't know, it's a whole lot. <laughs> That's 10 bands right there. It's 10 something? 10,000. Uh, All the blue faces. Take me to the airport, I'm going to the Bahamas. 10 piece, no biscuit. Now, at that point, she was happy as hell. She had a gleam in her eye. There was no, oh, my God, that's Mr. Blueface. Please get that $10,000 out of my face. No, she took that money very, very happy and willingly. So, again, this entire situation is very, very sticky, but I don't see anybody being innocent in this situation. I think what they need to do, they need healing. They need to talk off of social media. You know, the mom and the sister had no business blasting this. And then the fact that she was saying little things like, this is who y'all supporting. This is where y'all's money is going. This is his mother's stuff getting thrown out right here. This is how y'all, this is what y'all paying for. This is what y'all paying for right here, blue face. Y'all paying for this. This is this who y'all supporting. This who y'all supporting. Why would you try and plant that seed to try and ruin your son's career to make it where he can't get no money to, you know, continue taking care of you guys? So I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of animosity, possibly some jealousy on the sister's part as well. I just feel like for everything that they're saying happened, the two girlfriends not speaking, it should not have escalated into a situation where these family members got into it. The sister's threatening to kill the brother. The brother's threatening to kill the sister. Uh, the fuck? Even for the mother. Uh, that's really what the fuck? I want to know what the fuck is going on. They have absolutely no respect for the mother. I couldn't even imagine talking like that in front of my mom. My mom would be ready to beat me and my brother, point blank. You know, so this entire situation is crazy. I hope they all figure it out. I hope they figure it out. I hope they come together as a family unit because, again, life is so short. If something was to happen to Blueface tomorrow, they would go crazy. If something was to happen to Blueface's mother, he would go crazy. If something happened to the sister, he'd lose his mind. So at the end of the day, all you have is family. Life is short. You know what I'm saying? Make amends. The, the money, the fame, all that shit comes and goes. He could be not hot next year. He could totally fall off the map. He's only had one damn hit. So definitely, sir, be humble. Holla, holla, Sit down. Holla, holla, holla. It ain't like you have a whole catalog of, you know, music to fall back on. So be humble and try and work it out with your family. But the family also needs to realize that they are also in the wrong. And that's one thing I can't stand is toxic family members, okay? You know, just like the same situation that's going on with Black China and Tokyo Tony. Look how toxic and jealous she is of her daughter. You know, so that's the thing. Sometimes family members will be quicker to bring you down than strangers. So I'm not going to judge him too harshly because now that more evidence has has come out the sister was not innocent all that throwing shit around my house jumping on the couch cursing you know grabbing knives and then trying to play the victim uh-uh not in my book honey she's not a victim to me but if y'all want to make her a victim you know then so be it but in my personal opinion i feel like all three of them were on some bullshit okay and all three of them need to be more mature than that and the fact that there's a baby running around and all that is going on 
totally unacceptable. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Blueface, his mama, his sister. It's been a lot of drama the past 48 hours. Now that more footage has come out, who do you believe? Do you side with Blueface? Do you feel like the mother and the sister are clout chasing and they're just toxic and they feel like, you know, they feel entitled? Or do you feel like Blueface was in the wrong for putting his two girlfriends, aka his two bitches? My two favorite bitches. <laughs> in front of his mother and his sister. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.